Okay, identifying interview on this Wednesday morning, the 4th of March here at ITB in Berlin, identifying interview with Gabrielle of the Puerto Rico Tourism Company. Morning, Gabrielle. How are you this morning? I'm doing fine, Johnson. And you? I'm doing well. Uh, already, it's the first morning, but Puerto Rico seems to have been busy already. Yes, we are extremely busy. I've already, already had a couple of appointments. And 2014 was a great year for us, so yeah, we, we've been very busy. Let's talk about that great year, 2014. We're in the German uh, market right here. So let's talk about Germany, first of all, and its performance, Puerto Rico's performance in the German market. You did not too very badly, did you? No, 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 absolutely. We did very well in the German market. Uh, we started last year at the ITV here. We launched for the first time in several years a media campaign. So the combination of that and some cooperative agreements that we've done with some of the top wholesalers in the German market helped us achieve a 26% growth of the German market to Puerto Rico 2014 versus 2013. So we're very satisfied with those results. How are you going to top that this year? Sorry, just interrupt. Can I just get you to take a step back? Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to start a little again. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. Just pick up the left side. Yes, Gabriel. So that's splendid performance. 26% is quite an achievement. How can you top that for this year? Well, it's going to be quite challenging, to be very honest with you. Mostly because our non-stop flight with Condor is pretty much 90% utilized entirely. So we, between this show, part of the meetings will be with the airline as well. And of course, you know, if, if, if you ask me, we're trying to convince them to expand and add more flights. So we'll see if that takes place. If that takes place, it makes it much easier for us. If it doesn't, well, I guess, uh, you know, we're reaching that plateau of the, you know, maximizing that flight. Obviously, people out of the German market also comes to Puerto Rico through Miami and also. make it easier, I, I would take it, to have an additional flight that you're asking for? It certainly does. It certainly does. If it happens or not, it depends on so many variables. And, uh, and to be able to announce that, that usually, you know, when it takes place, it's, it's already done deal. So, but yeah, we're, we're meeting tomorrow here to discuss those options uh, with Condor. How frequent is that Condor flight? That flight is once a week on Saturdays uh, into San Juan, Puerto Rico. So what, what are you looking forward to in addition to Saturdays? What would you like? Well, you know, a midweek flight would be great. That way it's a great combination. We also have plenty of cruise ships all year round. We have about 535 stops of cruise ships in Puerto Rico. So there's several departures around midweek and then on the weekend. So I would assume that a midweek flight would be ideal combination for that. So. Now, Puerto Rico has been doing quite well of late, hasn't it, with the meetings market. You've got a major trade show, Caribbean trade show, that is coming up. Let's talk a little bit about it now. Yes, uh, for the first time in many, many years, uh, Puerto Rico, we will be launching our, our own first tourism international fair. So it will be taking place on May 13th through the 16th of 2015. That will be the first time. We're very excited. It's going to be quite large. Uh, we're having a roster of speakers, trainings. We're looking forward to it. It's going to be, you know, but it's been a big undertaking task as well for the, the tourism staff and, and group. In addition to that, um, Puerto Rico seems to be pushing quite hard, isn't it, on, on meetings like this one. And I'm told that you've got another one with Ayata as well. Is it? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, fortunately, uh, we in the last year, there's been plenty of restructuring in the non-profit agency that deals with our groups and conventions. And we have to say that they're doing an amazing job. So since all of those changes have taken place, Puerto Rico is finally we were lacking a little bit behind that in terms of small groups and groups. So Puerto Rico is finally back on the map with several big conventions and groups. Not citywide conventions, 
but at least large groups and, and The question in everyone's mind is Cuba, obviously. Uh, you share similar cultures as well as, as, as Cuba does. Um, I know Puerto Rico is saying welcome, very much like the CTO is saying the more the merrier, doesn't it? Yeah, well, obviously the politically correct answer is welcome. Uh, obviously, no doubt that I guess like any new thing, if it were to really open, you know, that freely, it, it should make an impact in the really is taking place with Cuba. The 12 categories that were always approved to travel into Cuba are the same, so that there is no change in that. The only difference that really has taken place within the U.S. administration is that they made it much more easier for those specified trips in terms of the process of getting the permits. That's it. So it's really not open entirely for leisure and for all the U.S. citizens to travel to Cuba. That Those changes are really not taking place. So I think it's more hype and so, 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 I, so I believe it will take more time than what people probably are thinking. Uh, so if it's going to make an impact, it will be, I guess, further down than a year. And if it does, it will, it will probably be a short term because the infrastructure of Cuba still has some ways to go to catch up with the uh, U.S. infrastructure and product development that Puerto Rico, uh, you know, has already for, for, you know, currently in place. So, so I'm not that much concerned about it now. It may be different a year from now, but... Okay. Well, thanks a lot, Gabriel. My as pleasure. Always. Pleasure.